Right everybody, we're in the Lake District again. This time to revisit a route that I've already done in a previous video. And the route is Sharp Edge. So we're going to be going up Blencathra. And the reason I've chosen to revisit it is because when I did it in the last video, it was completely clagged out at the top. Didn't see the view at all. But the forecast for tomorrow is clear skies. And it's supposed to be, I think, one of the hottest days of the year. Not really looking forward to that, but uh, it's going to be an absolutely great day tomorrow. I've just drove up here this evening uh, from work and the idea is to head up there this evening. I've got a tent with me and we're going to pitch the tent when we get to the top of Sharp Edge, have something to eat and then tomorrow morning we'll head over to the summit and check out the view. So that's the idea. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, I will show you on the map like I normally do the route. Uh, it's pretty much the same way. Uh, I might change the end of it. Um, to give you a little bit of different from the previous video. Right, we better get going. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll get this map out now and uh, show you that. Right, let's have a little butters of the map and uh, see the route we're going to take today. At the moment, we're currently here at Scales Farm, the White Horse pub in the car park there. And what we're going to do is just going to walk down the main road and we're going to pick this green pathway up. Hopefully you can see that green dotted line there. So we're going to turn right off the main road, follow this green pathway all the way up, exactly pretty much like we did last time in my last video. We're going to stay to the left of the stream, through a little bit of valley there, and we're head over towards Scales Beck. And that should take us all the way up then to the Scales Tarn, which is pretty much the base of Sharp Edge. Now, if I can remember correctly, there is a little bit of water at the top of Blencathra, but it is just like a puddle and it looked a bit stagnant to me last time so what I'll probably do uh, is I will fill up my water bottles here at Scales Beck. Unfortunately it's adding to the weight but it's, you know, I'd rather fill out of clean water or cleanish water than uh, the puddle at the top of Lancafra. Obviously I'm using a filter as well to fill up my water. From there all we're going to then do is just head straight up Sharp Edge up to the top now by the time we get up there the light's probably going to go pretty uh, pretty quickly so I'll probably throw my tent up and do my cooking and just call it a day at uh, that point there. Tomorrow morning we'll just walk across over towards the summit which is over here, Hallsfell Top and it tops out at 868 metres above sea level there and hopefully we should get a good view off the top tomorrow. It is supposed to be a really good day tomorrow, it's supposed to be blistering hot as well. So we should get some good views over towards Keswick and Derwent Water and the Filmay Reservoir as well. Now the last time when we came off Blencathra, we came down Scales Fell, which was this way. But this time, I plan on coming down Halls Fell Ridge, which is pretty much straight off the front of Blencathra, following this black dotted line, hopefully you can see that on the map, all the way down to the bottom. Now on the map here, I can see there's like a an old wall, a stone brick wall. So what we'll do is we'll follow the pathway just to the left of that wall and that should take us past Doddick Gill over towards Scaly Beck so we can fill up water there if we need to and that should then take us over towards Scales Farm and the van. So that's the route. Pretty much like I say uh, starts off the same but comes back a slightly different way. Right, the light is starting to go a little bit so we better start heading up. Otherwise, we're uh, going to be getting up uh, sharp edge in the dark, and I don't particularly want to do that. All right, let's go.
we've made it to uh, Scales Tarn. It got a little bit chilly actually. It was nice on the way up, but um, just as I was filling the water up, the uh, sun's dropped down behind Blaine Kaffer and uh, covered us in shade. And the wind's picked up a little bit, so it's got a bit nippy. Right, so like I say, this is Scales Tarn. It's a beautiful little place. Like I say, it'd be a lot better in the sun, but you know, it is where it is. All we've got to do now is head up that sharp edge. And then when we get to the top, hopefully get a half decent view. Right, let's get going. This is the start of the ridge line now, so it's time to uh, get our hands out a little bit, I think. Right, let's go along this uh, edge and get to the top. As you can see, we've got the tent up. I really didn't have time to uh, get the camera set up and film it putting up. I'm sure you don't need to see me put a tent up anyhow. I'm sure you've seen loads of people put tents up on YouTube. All we've got to do now is fill this airbed, shove that in, get the sleeping bag out, loft that up a little bit, and then uh, get some tea on. I've got one of them boiling the bag jobs. Nothing uh, snazzy. Just a simple boil in the bag. So I'll stick some water on, on the stove, get that boiled up and throw that in and uh, that's what we're having tonight. Yeah, I've had to uh, bump the ISO up on the camera. I think it's up to 200 now, because like I say, the light's going. It's a shame, every time I come up here, I always uh, struggle with the light or the weather. Right, I'll finish this and I'll get back to you. that pillar let's let a bit of air out there you go try that still a bit hard
Okay, that's the pillar pumped up. Oh. Right. Should be able to get my rucksack in here. It's a, it's a very small tent, this one. Little one man job, but I should be able to squeeze it in there later on. If we get a little bit of rain. It is looking a little bit dodgy, actually. Anyhow, it is what it is. We're here now. Right, all pegged down. Let's get some, uh, let's get some water going. So we're having that tonight. Just, uh, what is it? Let's have a look. Wayfarer, pasta bolognese. Dead simple. All I'm gonna do is basically just fold the packet up like that. Squish it into me, uh, a pot and then stick some water in so it covers it and then stick it on the old stove there we go it's all back on before it goes everywhere right let's fire this up Stick the lid on. Let that boil up. Make sure that's secure. And it's tipping over. That's it. Right, we'll leave that to go. I've got my long spoon as well. For tucking into it. Right. Oh, nightmare. The, um, the door of my tent, this is a really old tent, this is about 16 years old. Um, the little toggle that holds the when holds the door up, basically, you know, when you roll your door up, you toggle it and it stays up. Well, I ripped it off ages ago on Kinder uh, a number of years back. Um, long story, I'll have to tell you another time. But uh, basically, I'm using this bit of the peg. I don't know if you can see that. I'm using this peg, and now and again with the wind, it just blows it off. Right, anyhow, tea's ready. Let's turn this off. No idea what you're seeing really to be honest. It's all pot look. Let's take this out. Oh how hot this. Mega hot. I am tempted to make a, a brew with the water. Um, the only problem is because it's this is a, obviously plastic and that's been boiling away. I just always think that the water's contaminated now with um, bits of plastic so I'll probably bin that and uh, put some fresh in if I'm going to have a brew. Right let's uh, open this up. There we go, I'll stick that there, I'll stick that in the bin in a minute. I've got a little bin over here. Take all my rubbish with me everywhere or where I go. Right. You've probably had these anyhow before in the past. Just uh, basically boiling the bag job. Uh, taste it. Oh, it's good. Mind you, anything would be good up here at the moment. It's well dark now. Got some lights down there over near uh, Penrith, I think. Yeah, it'll be Penrith, that I would imagine. Yeah, it's well cloudy. Hopefully, tomorrow's going to be alright. Hopefully, we'll get a bit of a sunrise in the morning. Right, I'm gonna scoff this, you don't wanna see me eat this. I'm gonna scoff this and I'll uh, get back to you in a bit. The pasta bolognese was pretty good actually. However, you don't get great big portions in it. So I've been filling up on these um, just to top it up. I'll uh, probably have a hot chocolate later. I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube now, uh, but there's not much to see out here. I'll uh, Show you out that way, that's with the phone looking out. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? There's nothing to focus on, that's the problem you see. 
There you go, that's probably the best you're going to get. That's looking out towards the north, northeast direction. There's a little bit of light out there. Other than that, it's pitch black. Yeah, a bit of YouTube and then bed for me. I will see you in the morning unless something happens in the night. Good night, everyone. Good morning. Well, survived the night. It was well windy last night. Well windy. Um, had a look out in the middle of the night and it was pretty much uh, grey. Cloud was well down. As you can see, it's uh, still down now. But uh, it opens up now and again. And you get a nice view down over the clouds. I'm just waiting for that to uh, happen and uh, I'll give you a little look. In fact, I'll I'll spin it round now and see if you can see. There you go. So looking out towards the sun, obviously. Oh. It's fresh, definitely fresh this morning. Yeah, we're above the clouds. Well, in the clouds and above some of them. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning that, when it clears like that. Absolutely stunning. Hope you can see what I can see. It's all, always hit and miss with the GoPro because uh, this GoPro doesn't have a front screen so I don't know what you're looking at, whether I'm in shot or not. Look at that, beautiful. How good is that? Oh, let's have a look, see what you're seeing. There you go. Yeah, it's beautiful that. Attempted to get the old drone up, but uh, it's a little bit too gusty, a little bit too windy. Look at that now. It's played beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous.
pack most of my stuff away. I've just got the tent to drop and obviously my cook gear, but I think we'll uh, we'll have a brew before we set off. Yeah, last night it got really, really windy. Had my earplugs in, but I'll have to get some better ones. The, uh, they kept falling out <laughs> and uh, kept waking up. But um, I looked out about, I think it was about half past two in the morning and it was absolutely cloud right down to the grass. Oh my God, I'm not gonna see a view on top of, top of the mountain this time either. Um, but no, this morning, uh, after another little bit of a sleep, around about sort of half four, five o'clock when the sun was coming up, it started to clear a little bit, as you saw. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous now. Got some low cloud just below the summit. So uh, you'll probably see that as we're walking over to the summit in a bit. Uh, but yeah, it was good. Really, really good. Yeah, so I'm going to have a brew and then have something to eat and then uh, head over towards the summit and then drop back down to the van. Yeah. Oh, finally, I got to see the view. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll give you a little uh, look around in a minute. Let you have a butcher's. Right. Let's get the water on and... Uh, Get a coffee going. Get back to you in a minute. I had uh, these with me last night, my delta pegs. So, uh, it was windy last night. Always feel a little bit more secure when you've got these. for uh, 10 pegs. It's always good to do a little idiot check just before you uh, leave. I thought I'd give you one last little look at Sharp Edge before we head over towards the summit. There it is in all its splendor. Just pan across over here to the right and you can see Scales Tarn down there glinting away in the sun as well. Absolutely beautiful, like a jewel. You can see the way we came up from Scales Town up to the base of Sharp Edge. I'll use my blurry finger here. There it is. So this little pathway here takes you to the base of Sharp Edge where you start your scrambling. And the way we got to Scales Town is like we did last time in the old video. Came up through the valley here along Scales Beck. That took us up to Scales Town and that's where we headed up to the edge. Beautiful. A few people uh, starting to make their way along the edge now. Don't know if you'll be able to pick them out. I'll uh, I'll see if I can zoom in, but not promising anything. Let's see. Uh, let's have a look. So I don't know if you can see uh, 
pretty much in the center of the frame there's a couple of people right on the edge it's quite dark unfortunately the exposure just on the end of that blurry finger they are right zoom back out there we go and i'll leave you with a little shot of the tan and sharp edge there you go We made it to the top. Holes fell. Holes fell. This is this is the, um, the actual official top of Ben Cafra. Stick a couple of rocks on. Oh, let's have a look. There's one for you. One for me. Yeah, there's no cairn. It's just like a a concrete circle, Ordin ordnance survey circle. Oh, 868 meters. I think it is top of this. Right we're going to uh, have a look at the view and then we're going to head down the ridge. It's a bit of a tricky ridge this one, Halsfell Ridge. It's easier coming up than going down but we'll take, we'll take our time, we've, uh, we've got all day. Right let's uh, go and sit somewhere and then admire the view. Well we found a little spot uh, out of the way to uh, have a look around. We've got some serious flies up here, unfortunately. It's driven a lot of people off the summit. I uh, don't know if you noticed on the uh, last bit of footage when I was sticking a couple of rocks on the um, trig point, there was flies crawling all over the lens, so it is pretty bad. Um, lucky enough, I've got a hat with a net on, so uh, I'm pretty good, actually, and I've got a long top on, so I'm good. But everyone else is uh, panicking because there's flies all over the place. <laughs> right, anyhow, so let's have a look around. So what we're looking at here is... Um, Dermot water in the distance. Um, apologies for any flies on the lens. Let's uh, see if we can zoom in to Dermot water. So you've got a great view of Dermot water there. I'll pan around to the left. Uh, you've got Great Gable out there behind it, Scarfell. Um, pan around a little bit more to the left. And we should be getting film here into view now. There it is. In the centre of the shot. Fantastic. And a little bit more to the left. And then we're over towards where we're going to be going now. We're going down this uh, this ridge here. Halsell Ridge. Like I say, it's a bit dodgy. Going down, but it's dry. So we should be okay. And pan back round here again to Derwent Water. We'll move right round to the right. And you've got Skiddo over there now in the centre at the top. Fantastic view, so much better than last time. Miles better than last time, it was completely clagged out last time if you've watched that video. Right, I'll leave you there on Dermot Water. What a fantastic view. Gorgeous, enjoy. Right, so don't I look an idiot? Well, I might look an idiot, but I'm certainly not an idiot because up here at the moment there's loads and loads of flies. Like I said, and uh, it's driven most people off the summit here so we've got the place to ourselves for a moment anyhow there's a few people coming up so we'll make this quick so there you go there's a view i'm not going to put the drone up because it's too busy i don't like using the drone when there's a load of people around so this is the uh, next best thing i think your 360 over the top with the gopro right let's have a look at um the way we're going so we're going to head over and we're going to look down 
the ridge where we're descending, so we're going to be heading down that. Okay, that's where we're going. Hallsfell Ridge. It's a pretty steep descent, but we'll take our time. Okay, I'm going to get my gear and we'll head on down. Hopefully, I can take this hat off when we get a bit lower. We're on the GoPro, as you can probably tell. Yeah, I put the um, SLR away and the tripod away because it was just uh, taking a little bit too long setting up shots and stuff for uh, for us really. So the GoPro's just a little bit easier coming down here. Unfortunately though, I don't know if I'm in shot there. <laughs> Unfortunately though, um, obviously with the camera, and the tripod in and on my backpack it's all of a sudden made the backpack even heavier than it already was so that's something to bear in mind I've got to watch me uh, my balance but yeah see it's a, it's a great little ridge this I tell you summit um, I'm gonna pay this one a visit going up it it's uh, Fantastic little scramble by the look of it. Really, really is. Probably, I would say, I don't know, maybe a little bit better than Sharp Edge. Sharp Edge gets all the limelight. I think this one deserves a little bit. Fantastic, it's really interesting. The good thing about it, it's nice and long as well. Fantastic. You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. You know, if you want to stay right on the tippy tippy edge, you could do that. There's a couple of areas where you definitely have to take care. But uh, yeah, it's good, really good. Right, anyhow, let's uh, crack on over here. Spin it around this way, you can see where we've come from. In fact, I tell you what, let's get you a little bit longer. See if we can make you a little bit longer. There you go. Hang on, sorry about the dodgy uh, camera work. Well, there you go. Right there, you're a bit longer now. Hopefully you get a bit of a better view. Oh yeah, it's good this. Really, really enjoying this descent. I heard a few people uh, going on about it when they were coming up it at the summit. They were saying that, oh my God, I don't want to fancy going down there. And I would imagine, yeah, you've got to take care coming down here, especially in the wet, but... Oh yeah, if you've had a bit of experience scrambling, you know, and you've done some of the, uh, the major ones in the country, then uh, you won't have a problem on this. But if it's your first time, then probably stay away from it. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, I'll give you a 360. Yeah, a little 360. You don't need me looking at the lens, do you? There we go, and uh, that's where we're going. Whoops, <laughs> made me dizzy, that 360. There we go, all the way down there. Brilliant. Right, let's crack on.
look at this view. How great is that? Just absolutely beautiful. I must have said beautiful and fantastic about a hundred times in this video. <laughs> but um, the video just doesn't do the Lake District justice at all. Just have to be here. Wonderful, wonderful place. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I only live a couple of hours away. But uh, if you live a bit further than that, definitely uh, stick it on the list. Places to visit. Gorgeous. Especially on a day like today. Right. Have this uh, orange and we'll carry on down, eh? As you can see, we're nearly down now. All we've got to do is just, just find a little bit down towards them trees. I don't know if you can see the trees in behind me. And then we turn left, we just follow uh, a wall pretty much all the way back, keep the wall to your right hand side. And that'll take us back to the van. Oh, well, it was a good one today. Beautiful. Last night when I saw the cloud coming in and uh, the wind picking up, I thought, oh, I've stuffed it. Stuffed it again on top of Blaine Cafro, I'm not going to see the view. But this morning uh, all cleared up, as you saw, and uh, we got some great views. Finally got to see the, the view from the top. Oh. Right, going to head back down there now, and then uh, get back to the van. But um, yeah, I'm going to definitely come back and do that Halls Fell ridge on the way up because coming down, I really, really enjoyed it. I reckon on the way up, I'm gonna enjoy it even more than uh, Sharp Edge. I'd like to know your view on it, if you've done both, what you, what you think, which one you prefer. Right, I'm gonna head off down now, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed doing it. It's been hard work, but you know, you gotta do it. I will see you on the next one, everybody. Okay, take care. I'll see you on the next video. See you later. Thank you.